It could have been IndyCar driver Dario Franchitti's last race. The British champion was on the final lap of the Grand Prix in Houston, Texas, when this happened. At 100 miles an hour, Franchitti's car slammed into the safety barrier. He was shunted by another driver's car, tossing his into the air. 13 people watching were injured by debris firing into the grandstands. The force of the crash was so great, even his fellow drivers weren't sure he'd walk away. That was a, that was a big hit. I heard, you know, Dario's okay. He looked like he was moving around when I drove past and uh, looked like a lot of the car got into the stands too. So I hope, uh, you know, all the fans out here are okay today. But the British champion was lucky. He was airlifted to hospital with just a fractured spine, a broken ankle and concussion. His ex-wife, movie star Ashley Judd, tweeted that despite their separation, she was on her way to the hospital to see him. But it could have been much worse. Two years ago, another British IndyCar champ, Dan Weldon, died in this crash, a horrific 15-car pile-up in Las Vegas. Despite complaints about safety, it's thought the sport is actually getting safer. I think with every driver, they go out onto the circuit knowing that they may well have a crash. But nowadays, I don't think they go out thinking they're going to get injured because the safety is so good. Things are designed to smash off the car, right. which gets rid of the, sort of dissipates the energy. Right. But the thing that lasts, as you'll see in the video footage, is the cockpit and the tub. So that keeps you safe. So after a night in hospital, Dario will live to race another day. Chip Ganassi, the team's owner, seen here rushing to the scene of the crash, said Frank Kitty will be okay and he's now on the mend. Minnie Stevenson, Five News.